keep the show moving along. We're having fun. This is it, guys. Music or not, this is it. Twelve minutes of this. This is it. That was a party, right? That was a fun party. I'm exhausted. Um, when they said, Seth, do you want to come down and perform at the subculture on a Sunday night? I said, sure, I'll do it. But I want a place packed. Except I need three seats empty in the front row. Four. I need four seats empty. Or else I don't show up. So thank you, subculture, for doing the one thing I wanted. The one thing I asked for. Um, let's start with something light. Who here has seen Leaving Neverland? Have you seen it in Michael Jackson now? Not a date night movie. I found out the hard way this weekend. <laughs> but what never came up was the uh, when the they had the hologram at the uh, American Music Awards. What I thought was funny is that the hologram, when they used that, they used 2009 Michael, which was because they could have made a hologram of any version. I thought it'd be great if they had 1975 Michael, right? Have young Michael come out and dance, then. 2009 Michael comes out and he has to explain what happened to 1975 Michael. He'll be like, well, I got really into like Diana Ross and skin bleaching and things got weird in the 80s. How old are you anyway? <laughs> oh, is that too far? Hologram hitting on another hologram? Is that too far for you guys? Anyway, so the new uh, campaign, 2020, is heating up. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna hear about it every day for the next two years. You excited about that? <laughs> every day, every day. There is now 56 people running for the Democrat ticket. <laughs> A lot of you don't know if I'm lying. A lot of you don't know if 56 is not the real number. It's not, it's not. Twenty-four. <laughs> I know people are like, what? Eh, it'll be fine. Um, it'll be fine. Who cares? It's all entertainment. Uh, right? It's all entertainment. And Donald's, oh God, it's so funny how his whole world is sinking. But I still feel like there's no stakes. You know, like, Manafort got, uh, you know, sentenced and uh, Michael Cohen <laughs> testified. But it doesn't feel like there's any impending doom. So it feels like, Ah, that crazy coos can stay in office forever. Like, it doesn't feel weird, like no one's really gonna kick him out soon. Anyway, uh, but he's falling apart mentally, and he's tweeting up a storm, and I fucking love it. I love the tweeting, I do, I love every second of it. And he tweets like an eighth grade mean girl. He's like a 14 year old girl, right? Like, oh my god, everyone is so stupid, no one gets me, I'm a genius. And I'm like, For no one can sit with you at lunch because I'm a fucking genius, bye bye, you all haters. <laughs> Barely an exaggeration. Barely an exaggeration. The one thing I love about his tweeting, though, is I think we'll probably find out if the government has aliens. Because I don't think we'll keep it a secret. No way to keep it a secret. You gotta be kidding me, right? He's gonna be like, sir, uh, you, you, you are now gonna meet the aliens. You meet them once, and that's it. You can't tell a soul. Got it. <laughs> Just met the aliens. She's like a two. Gross. I've been living here legally for years. Obama let it happen, sad. <laughs> The wall of space. That's the tweet. That'll be the tweet. That's how we'll know the government's hoarding aliens. That's the tweet. 
I love that Bernie's back. Woo! Woo! Bernie, right? New Yorkers love Bernie. Yes. New Yorkers love Bernie because he's like, he's like, if you took the Upper West Side and made it one person. <laughs> If you smush the Upper West Side into a being, it would be Bernie Sanders. And if you don't believe me, go to Fairway any time before noon on any weekday. It's just nine Bernie Sanders running around, yelling at each other about who's in front of who's in line. I was here first, you go get a number! Is this no be salty? I can't have some! Get behind me! As a present, you fucked it up. <laughs> we have another chance. What I love about Bernie, oh god, there's so many beautiful things I love, love about him. In bed by four every, every day. <laughs> Such a good guy. I love watching him speak, I really do. Because he talks like he's typing with one finger on an old time. <laughs> He's uh, solved um, uh, the guns issue. There's a lot of like shootings in uh, um, schools, and um, Donald's like, "I got it. Shootings in schools. Arm the teachers. We're done. Next problem, please." No, let's not put, give the people who are the most like underpaid, overworked people at the end of the rope guns. It's not a good idea. Can you imagine? Because you know what's gonna happen if you give teachers guns. There's always every teacher has one kid they hate. <laughs> Still talking, Craig. You know what? Now the gun's out. It's out. It's all good. <laughs> Here's the deal. This year we're going to make bulletproof vests. <laughs> if it works, you pass. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.